Hello, I'm Richard Phobes, the bald explorer, out on another walk. I'm again with the lovely Harriet and <laughs> the lovely Lola. Hello, Lola. How are you? Oh, there we go. We've got the obligatory blick on the blick, the lick on the nose. Harriet, we Hello. are. Where are we today? We are another one of my favourite places. Oh yeah. Um, somewhere called the Lawley which again is just off the A49 south of Shrewsbury, about 10 miles south of Shrewsbury. And what is the Lawley? It's a big hill, um, quite a steep hill we're walking up, Yes. <laughs> um, with a very long, well how do you call it, it's like a dragon's back isn't it? Yes, it's a, it's a big long hill um, and in fact there's a line of them, you've got the Care Caradoc, yes. you've got the Lawley and then if you follow that line onwards you end up at the Recon. And at some point in history here in Shropshire, there was a, some sort of earth movement that caused these, these great big mounds of earth that just sort of poke out of nowhere, don't they? Because the rest of the area is relatively flat, apart from to the west, where you begin to get the, the, the infamous Shropshire Hills, the, yeah. the Long Mind and the Long Mountain. And, Pole Bank. Hollow and Cardi Mill Valley where we've walked and you've, and you've filmed. Um, but today we're approaching, we've never approached the Lawley from this side. No. We've also always parked at the other end. So um, we're at the, uh, the north end I suppose. We're at are the we? north end aren't we, yes. Which is the traditional end that most people actually yes. <laughs> park. There's a, there's a car park down there, a small one. And then you go through this uh, glade, is it a glade? Yes. Of trees. Yeah. And then um, you walk up and it's a, just a never-ending stretch, or it appears as it continues up. Yes, because coming up the other side, it's sort of short, sharp, but very steep. Ooh. Yes. Yes, so traditionally we've parked at the blunt end, yes. um, which is the southern end, just as it sort of almost kisses cheek to cheek with Care Caradoc, another hill famous for, uh, apparently, the last of the, the, the English stands with Caractacus. Um, fighting on a, a, a hill fort with uh, the Romans who came in and I forget exactly when it was about AD 60 or something like that right. I'm not too sure but it's a beautiful climb and on a day that doesn't have <laughs> so much um, mist you get some terrific walks so the intention is obviously to you. come back oh yeah sorry <laughs> what did I say walks walks um, yeah you get much better you get far better views you can see that the we've got a bit of a low mist we're filming in March at the moment and uh, but normally you'd see this huge patchwork of farmland it's very rural very up rural, here isn't yes, it? it is. and uh, here in front of us is the is the the brown of the bracken um, looking looking oh, I guess we're looking west it's a very long hill, isn't it? Once you get up to the top, it's sort of long and narrow. Yes. Yes, it is very it much like a sleeping top. dragon, isn't yes. it? Yes. But it's nice because it's, it's dry underfoot. Yes, even though we've had snow and rain, um, a lot of the water just splashes off. It does cascade down. In fact, on the way here, we drove through two little fords. Oh, yes. <laughs> We did. Which presumably was the water coming off the lawley and uh, crossing the road. Yes. But uh, like all these things, you walk up the path and before you know it, yeah. you know, you've actually, <laughs> you have actually made height. Good progress. Yeah. But we're nowhere near the top. No. You can see a top, but it's not the top. <laughs> no. Yes, you get these false summits. Yes, that's the one. Um, and in fact, in the far, far distance now, I don't know how this picks up on a wide angle lens, but there is the real summit yeah. with people above it, but it's a pinprick. We've got quite a bit of walking to do, so we'll, we'll press on. I may have lied about that pinnacle, by the way, <laughs> yeah, a... because if you come round here, you'll see that actually there are two pinnacles, and that's what I meant earlier when I said about the, the false um, uh, t whatever it was I said to full something Pinnacle. pinnacles <laughs> yes because ahead of us the people that we saw had only reached one of them 
<laughs> and then there's a, there's an even higher one. But we, you still get some views from up here, don't you? Harry? Oh yes. Well, it's just that today. I don't, it probably won't look that good on film, but it's actually quite cool being up here when it's quite misty. Yes. <laughs> um, and of course, it's always here for for us and for your viewers. And to the walk a different time of year. Exactly. And it is that strange time of year when you don't quite know what to be wearing for no. your walks because no. down below it was pretty chilly and I, I guess the higher you get up it's actually more chilly but you've worked up a little muck sweat yes as you like to say <laughs> and I've, uh, I've got several layers on yes and already my tweed jacket and my uh, merino wool jumper is uh, is doing its biz oh good so it maybe I end up putting one of them in the bag and it'll be the smaller of the two let's enjoy some of the the journey ahead and we were just saying as we were walking up off camera we were worried about it's going to be really really muddy but it's actually sort of quite dry, dry and, and springy isn't it it is it's very springy um <laughs> mud or clay on the top here and uh every now and again you get a good whiff of um sheep poo there's <laughs> there's little lola uh, we have to be very careful with lola she's pretty Ooh. good don't you get that woof Ooh. yeah lola Stay no, here. No, no, stop looking. Good girl. Yeah, she has a very, um, I guess, uh, innate tendency to um, go chasing after the sheep, it's which is bred into her. Yes, um, which is a nuisance because as soon as she does that, of course, she cannot hear. There's no point calling because she cannot hear her, her, hear also us. Because she's so small, it's really hard for us to spot her. Yes. <laughs> And she and and this time of year, she does tend to blend in yes. with the bracken. Getting up to the top now of the first pinnacle, in this very beautiful long stretch, and here is a transmitting antenna. Well, several antennas, in fact. Here we go. Uh, and and what a brilliant place to set one up. I don't know what they all do, but. Uh, Clearly it's a telecommunications hub and uh, it's got a good vantage point. The, the mists is all coming in. Here comes Harriet. Um, looks like the mists, the mists are chasing you, Harriet, there. Oh gosh, they are, aren't they? They're coming in. The low, well, I say mist, I mean, it's really just low cloud, isn't it? Yes. It is low cloud. I d again, I don't know exactly how high we are. But about uh, 1,300 feet, something like that. I'll check it out and bung it on the screen. Um, and we're going to get higher. But we are going to get yeah. higher if we don't get completely engulfed. Yeah. Look, look ahead. You can see the cloud is just hitting the side of the hill here, which is a spectacle I've not seen before. Um, I did a walk where I was uh, up on the South Downs walking in the mists and the aim was to film a particular place called Stenning Bowl and the mists just, well similarly to this, just suddenly rose up out of the bowl and immersed me and uh, as I carried on walking then I found some pigs. You can check that video out on the uh, on the, the YouTube channel. Um, but yes, it, it's just creeping over. So any minute now, Harriet, we're going to find ourselves completely immersed yeah i know it's quite fabulous yeah not so good for your viewers but no well it adds a different dimension and of course it gives me an excuse to come back oh yeah, yeah as if we need one <laughs> yes yes we've uh we're, well we can't see it now i was gonna say we're approaching the pinnacle it's still a little way off but the mist oh you can smell it can't you the mist is rolling in now it's lovely <laughs> Sorry, we haven't got bright colours on, so no. we might lose each other. Yes. So this, uh, oh my goodness, look behind us. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> that is proper being immersed. Any yeah. minute now, we're going to be completely engulfed. If you come round this side, you can Ooh. see Lola. there's scenery. Lola. There's the world. And actually, as it happens, Lola, come here, here. Good girl a bit worried about Lola now because she does have a tendency to go off as we said earlier and if she disappeared in this well that would be it we just never see her my goodness this is absolutely amazing <laughs> this is this is walking in with your head in the clouds and not just your head this is all of us 
Gosh, let me just catch up with you, Harriet. There we go. Fabulous. <laughs> Isn't it? It's a bit of fun. And through the murk, ladies and gentlemen, through the murk, Ooh. I don't know how much the camera's picking up. Mm. You can't see the summit yet. No, the it's proper not a summit. Deep climb, actually. Yes. Because all you've got is that little bit of hump ahead of us, and that's it. So, gosh, we'll press on a bit more and hopefully we'll reach it and not find a, an open precipice <laughs> and fall down. Yes. Well, it cleared, ladies and gentlemen, it did clear and we had sight of the peak. It was um, a little way off and I thought, I'll just wait till we get a bit closer before I turn the camera on. <laughs> and of course, in that moment, the, the, uh, the cloud has not only come from the west but it's nipped over to the east and now you see bugger all I'm afraid but but there is the marker of the pinnacle which I don't know if that's supposed to be a crow on the top there or or what it is it's some bird but we are at the very top now we've been up here in a very windy day very very windy and I, th I think when we've been here before of course it's it's quite an abrupt downward slope from here so you get that bit of vertigo ordinarily but with all this white mist the sense of height is sort of slightly lost isn't it Harriet? It is because we've been up here once where it was so windy and as you say neither of us are very good with heights it's actually really quite scary yes but today uh, ignorance is bliss really because you can't Absolutely. see anything <laughs> now although you've got to the top of this long walk um, it doesn't actually mean that the walk finishes because no. you've got probably another third of the journey back um, continuingly uh, continuing uh, where south south, south yes. from from where we are there used to be up here uh, and you can't see it it's no longer there but the the floor bit is a trig point but uh, the trig point's no longer there I don't know why, um, but I'd love to have shown you the fabulous views, but uh, I can't. Anyway, we have run out of time as well as views, so uh, we'll carry on. But um, thank you so much for joining us, and thank you to little Lola. Hello, Lola. Thank you, Lola. Does it lick the microphone? <laughs> and uh, of course, to the lovely Harriet for taking me on another exciting walk thank you lovely richard but we will be back won't we, we will be back yeah for when, sure and give you the views on another occasion so from us on the top on the pinnacle of the lawley thanks for watching <laughs> and goodbye goodbye right gonna finish it are we yeah yeah come on then.